The Astros walked off the Rays in game five of the ALCS. Nick Anderson's in the pitch, and the Rays go to four outfielders and three infielders because they're absolute sickos. Tied game in the ninth, and they don't care about ground balls. Anderson doesn't get that. Nice fastball. Comes right back in with 96. Drops a little off speed, little breaking pitch. Fouled back, then way outside. And now, Bregman, are you just going to hit a ground ball? There's only three infielders. Do you going to take advantage with what they're giving you. Nah, ploops one to right fielder slash second baseman Brandon Lau. He makes the easy catch and then walks to second base because now he's going to go play the infield because once again, the Rays are sickos. So anyway, now we're back to normal. Carlos Correa steps up. The bad man, the cocky shit talking Correa, the victim, the hero, the heel, everything swings through that breaking ball. Next pitch from Anderson, fastball, kind of a really nice pitch, and Correa just throws it. Kiermaier jumps the wall because, of course, Kiermaier scales the wall, and that kid peeked out the bushes right in time to see the home run and celebrate. First man up was Springer. Astros bench going crazy. Yuli throws his helmet onto the field. The worker dudes in the back high five. I really like this one kid just so overcome with excitement. He kind of does a little fist pump all by <laughs> all by himself. Real weird exchange between the coaches here. I can't figure it out. I need your guys' help. Third base coach on the right here does an emphatic like you and then immediately turns around to go see Correa at third base. Is he saying, like, I told you, fucking knew it. But then the coach that he's pointing at on the left, Dusty's kind of holding him back, and he kind of raises his hand right now, like, what's his problem? Why is he yelling at me? And then the other coach, 46, he punches him a little bit and pushes him and, like, told you. And then Dusty kind of puts his arm around him and has a little chat with him. What the hell is that about? When Choi tied it up, do you think this guy was grouchy grouch? Like, oh, season's over. See you guys next year. And then they're like, fuck you, dude. Or do you think they made a bet and now he owes them all dinner? Like, I don't know what this interaction is. I'm intrigued by it. Very emphatic point by the third base coach. Dusty consoling, happy. I don't know. And now we got some big old Dusty hugs. And you can hate the Astros because they cheated in 2017, but you cannot hate Dusty Baker, his hugs, his dances. Dusty has a plan. And I love it. Now, I, I seamlessly put together Carlos's trip around the bases. I mean, such a pimp job. If you're going to be the dude who's cutting WWE promos, you can act like this around the bases as long as you back it up. I mean, point to the sky after the big thing. He pounds his, the chest after he rounds second, goes straight into the hand over the ear after he rounds third base, and then he takes that into the helmet throw. Oh, first he's going to make some faces. Oh, 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 into the jump shot. And I mean, he did it all. I mean, he did it all as he rounded the bases. So hate him, love him, whatever. He knows it. He doesn't care, and he's going to do him. What the hell was this guy doing? You know what I mean? This one was brought to you by DraftKings. Go to DraftKings. Use the promo code JOMBOY. Get, download the app. Have some fun. Look around. See what they got to offer. Baseball, basketball, football, ping pong. Ping pong. See you guys.